Welcome to The Better Life with Dr. Mary Ann Pinkston. Join Dr. Pinkston today as she teaches you how an integrative approach to health, combining holistic and contemporary medical information, can lead you to The Better Life. And now, here's your host, Dr. Mary Ann Pinkston. Hello there. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dr. Marianne Pinkston, and I am here with Joanne Tobias Molina from the Alamo Area Council of Governments, ACOG. It's so much easier to say ACOG. And we're going to talk about disability and aging today and all the services that are available. Okay. Well, thank you so much for having me here. And one of the things I want to talk to you today about is something that we all have in common, which people don't really think about. But every one of us is aging yes. every day. We're born aging. Right. And not all of us have the privilege of getting older. Because it's, we know of people who have not made it into their 60s or 65 or, and think about, wow, I, if only I can get to my retirement age. And things happen. Right. And especially in this environment where illness and so many other things have happened. And so I look at aging as a privilege. Mm -hmm. And so it's my great benefit and privilege to be working at ACOG. At ACOG, we have a number of different services. We, it's the Alamo Area Council of Governments, yes. and so we have a diverse group of uh, programs that we offer. My area is the aging department. And so I'm a passionate person about aging yeah. services yes. and about aging and aging well, because our mission at ACOG is to help people age in place and age in place well with safety and dignity and to ensure that their needs are met yes. and that they can adjust and adapt their environment to live as long as they can in their own home. With independence and dignity, I Absolutely. love that. Because Absolutely. Because there, you would be surprised how many people do not get that privilege at all. You, you would think that mm -hmm. that's a right and it, it, it doesn't seem to be. That is something that uh, has to be built in and, and worked for very hard. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that it's a great opportunity for ACOG to be able to come on your show and to uh, talk to our community about just all of the opportunities that we have as older adults. Right. Uh, when we become a certain age, sometimes people start thinking and uh, talking to us as, well, we're gonna talk to your son or your daughter about you, and you're in the room. Right. And they start thinking about you as if you're not, you don't have a mind anymore, or you don't exactly. have a, a, a role yeah. in this anymore. Right. And so one of the things that I want to talk to you about today or share about our services is thinking about aging in place and how do we do that successfully. So we have a number of different services at our agency to help an individual have um, a caregiver perhaps in their own home, have someone to come in, perhaps they need some adaptive equipment, perhaps they need to do some adjustments in their own home to be able to live in their own home for as long as possible. Maybe it's a ramp, maybe it's something as simple as putting grab bars in the shower or in the bathroom to be able to get in and out of the room. It could be a number of different things and I think people don't often think about, well, what's going to happen when I age as I'm getting older? You know, we think about it maybe as if we have older parents as mm -hmm. they're aging, right. we start seeing it in them. Right. And we start thinking about, well, uh, when mom gets to be X number age or when mom retires, or it depends on where you are in your own journey. But you may start thinking about it, but then it might hit you out of the blue right. or an illness might happen. I used to say that every one of us is just temporarily able because at any point, any one of us may have a, an accident, an injury, and we become a person that may need other people to help us do activities of daily living. Yeah. Something like bathing and dressing and cooking and just doing your basic um, uh, chores around the home. And so I think people don't often think about, well, what would happen? What should I start doing to think about planning ahead for aging in place? And so I, when I want to talk to you about today and as if we go through our conversation, it's not only for us as older adults or as people who are aging, but it could be for you as you're older, if you have a parent yeah. or you have an aunt or uncle or a neighbor that you're interested in trying to take care of and they need to know about these services. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, aging to people comes as a surprise in a way. It's like mm -hmm. I never imagined that mom or dad would be, you know, as disabled as they are. You think, you know, like like you said, we we all view it from where we are in our, in our life, and you know, we watch our parents get older, and it just I don't know how it comes to us as such a surprise that they get to this place. We watch people do it all the time on TV, or you know, we mm -hmm. just we we see the aging community, and we just don't think that's ever going to happen to us or happen to our parents, and it does. It does come as a huge surprise. I don't, really don't think people understand and know how much assistance and, and how many uh, you know things that you guys have in place 
to really help. How do they, you know, how do they look this up? How do they get in contact with you? How do they find your services? Great, thank you so much. So we have um, a one. We have a telephone number where people can call. It's two one zero four seven seven. Three two seven five, and I'll have this on my website. I'll have all this available to you on the website, and that is our uh, call center. So anyone can call our call center at uh, Monday through Friday, eight to five, and we have an agent available to speak with you to talk about whatever prog program you might be interested in, or perhaps you're not sure what program am I interested in. Maybe I'm just calling up to say, what kind of services do you have available? Our agent can talk to you about the service That's and right. ask you some questions about the uh, services that you might be interested in. They may be asking, are you uh, living at home alone? Are you interested in a home delivered meal? Are you interested in going out to get a meal at a, a senior center or at a nutrition site? Wow. Are you interested in having someone come into your home to try to to help bathe or dress or cook for you. There's a number of different programs that we offer. One of the things I wanted to make sure I highlighted is that we have a group, uh, a unit of folks that are called benefit counselors. Mm -hmm. And they are certified by the state of Texas to provide information and resources on Medicare. Mm -hmm. And we just came through the Medicare open enrollment. And right. if you get mail at home, you may have been getting a lot of mail from lots of different insurance companies. Oh, absolutely. Or your parents were, or you were getting a lot of mail absolutely. from every company wanting you to yeah. look at their product. Yeah. And so our folks, what they do is they are independent, so we're, we're not selling any kind of insurance or anything, so they are certified to go through the process with you. And it may well be that maybe you're 64 years old and you're starting to think, well, I'm thinking about retiring and maybe drawing Medicare. I don't really know where to start. Right. One of the things that you could do is call our agency at 210-477-3275 and ask to speak to a benefits counselor. And what our counselor will do is go through an inventory with you and go through a set up an appointment, go through the questionnaires with you and walk you through the process about including when should you file for Social Security and Medicare. Mm -hmm. Some folks don't realize it's not automatic. You no, have to do some work. No, exactly. <laughs> they don't realize. It, you don't realize yes. until you start real, uh, saying, oh, all of a sudden I'm 64. Uh -oh. I'm, I better right. start doing something sure. about this. Sure. And so uh, walking through that process, trying to decide which is going to be the best plan for myself. And not only that, but one of the other things that our benefit counselors can do is walk, work with people to help them find out, do I need to get a power of attorney? Do I need a will? I think we all understand in the back of our heads that, yes, those are yeah. important documents. Sure, sure. But again, until we need them, right. we're probably like, oh, I'll get to that. It's something that never happens to us. Not yet. It'll happen someday. Exactly. Someday or I don't future. need it. Or, oh, that's only for old people. <laughs> you know, right. I hear all right. kinds yeah, of things absolutely. that say that I don't it. need it. I don't, uh, or I'll get to it. Or it's just assumed. Sure. You know, my husband will get everything or my wife will get everything. But right. it's, it's not no, like that. it's not automatic. It, and people think, well, Texas is a community property state. Well, yes, but that doesn't mean that it's automatic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that you're, you will inherit your spouse's portion of the home or anything like that. You have to work through this. Mm -hmm. And what our benefits counselors can do is work with you and set up an appointment where you can get a, a, a consultation with an attorney okay. and go through that and actually do an inventory to see power of attorney, will, a transfer upon de a death deed. There's so many uh, yeah. uh, tools that you can use yeah. to do pre-planning. Right. And one of the things we want to emphasize is that it, the more preparation you do ahead of time, the better it is so that you personally may not become a victim of and be vulnerable to becoming a victim of abuse or neglect or exploitation. Yeah. Because we know abuse and oh neglect of exploitation of older adults in our community and around mm. the country is an issue. It's rising every day. Yes, it is. And so what we find is that if people do some work up front and uh, are critical thinking about who they select to be their power of attorney, what the, how they handle all of their business finances, including their checking accounts, their banking accounts, who they select to be their uh, advocate for them. They can do some work ahead of time, so help, hopefully they won't become a victim of exploitation. Sure. And so we have an, all of that to say is that there are a lot of services yeah, there are. through us. Well, let me ask you to, because, you know, knowing that there there's a cost to being able to provide something like this uh, for a community. And I think the first, you know, when, when we hear such great services, that something that would come in the back of my mind is how much is this going to cost me to call or to do or engage in all this? So how do you guys handle that? Well, that's a great question, because uh, the only, for all of our services, 
the basic need is that you have to be over 60 years old. Mm -hmm. That's the baseline. If you're over 60 years old, you should qualify for our services. We don't do a financial uh, inquiry on you. We don't run any kind of credit check, but right. then there is no charge to you, the individual client, for the services that we provide. Right. So our services are through run through a grant from the Health and Human Services Commission. Okay. It's federal dollars and runs through Texas as the pass-through. And so there is no charge for our services to the individual client. And that's one of the things that I hope people realize that if you won't know until you call right. and then decide and don't let something like this hold you back. Even if we decide uh, you're concerned like, well, I don't know if mom makes enough money or maybe mom makes too much money, call and let's talk through it and right. find out. Each case is going to be a little bit different, sure. but for our services, there will not be a charge. That's amazing. So, I mean, people need to understand for your services, there is no charge. All of these things that you just discussed and talked about, amazing. So, Correct. that, yes, and I, I do think that is something that scares people uh, out of, you know, making calls because they feel like they're going to get into something, they're spammed or get into something. And you mentioned some of the, the scams and the the, the things that uh, uh, exploitation of, of the elderly. I see this a lot in my mm -hmm. clinic. It's, it's, I think if so many people uh, have so much pressure, you know, on them these days, and then taking care of an older older person, you, you basically have to take over their life. Uh, mm -hmm. They're like children almost, you know. So you go backwards in age. You you get older and wiser, but yet the body mm -hmm. starts to fail and the mind starts to fail, and then you wind up taking care of not only your family and everything, but an older parent. So there's a great great services. Can can they call for so? The, the person that they're calling about has to be over 60. Yes. But anybody can call, any family member, That's any correct. friend, anybody can. And are you just in San Antonio? No. So we cover all of Bear County and we cover the 12 surrounding counties. So up in the Hill Country, uh, uh, Kerrville, all the way down to McMullen County. That's and so we That's serve, a huge swath of... Uh, yes, we do. And then if you're, perhaps that you're living here, but maybe your parent lives in another part of Texas or maybe even out of state. You could still call us to talk about the services available and then we can connect you to the area agency on aging in that particular area. So it's not just San Antonio, Bear County, or South Texas. There's an ACOG anywhere you live? There's a council of governments, are. that's correct. All over the state of Texas and there is an area agency on aging across the country. That's amazing. So it is uh, one of these options that I think people sometimes feel, and you were talking about you know, being a caregiver, mm -hmm. you might be a caregiver long distance. Right. And you may be... Like me, I'm a caregiver long distance. Long distance, mm -hmm. and you may be Absolutely. your parent or your loved one lives out of state or out of town, and you're still a responsible party. Right. And you may not be the day-to-day -day caregiver, but you are still a caregiver. Mm -hmm. but, and that's one of the areas that I think is underserved is our caregivers, because a, a caregiver can be... A, some people don't even think about themselves as a caregiver. Right. And then they realize, well, wait a minute, I am providing meals or I'm going over to check on them every day. And we've had some people say, well, I'm not really a caregiver, but... You send money yeah, or, yeah, you know... but I'm over there every day or mm -hmm. I'm going once a month and I'm scheduling for appointments and I'm doing this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. And so we have a whole program for caregivers and it's caregiver support. We do caregiver education. We care do caregiver training. And so an individual who is a caregiver and can call and to ask about those type of services, even if the person that the, is the recipient, the care yes. recipient, maybe isn't wanting any type of service or maybe doesn't feel they need a service, right. uh, the caregiver can still can call that, right. because <laughs> caregiving Very is important. a difficult journey. Yes, it is. And it is one that they cannot yes, do does. on their own. Yes. And I think anybody who's been in as a caregiver understands that sometimes you feel that, well, this is my personal journey, I need to carry it, or, but there are people available to help. Absolutely. And one of the programs that we offer that I don't think is really utilized as much is we offer a respite program that sometimes an individual who's a caregiver just really needs a couple of hours just to get away a little bit. Get away, mm -hmm. take a nap, go to the doctors, get their hair done, go shopping, do some things that maybe they just haven't been able to do. Right. And it's helpful for the individual, the caregiver, and it's good for the recipient as well because then they have someone who comes back refreshed, a little rejuvenated, yes. has someone who's not feeling that they're just isolated and no one else is helping them through this Absolutely. journey. And so caregiving is a program that we have have uh, support with and we work with the community for lots of different services and programs with we connect with many different uh, areas one thing I did want to say is that we have a population that we serve of 
people who are age 55 and above that mm -hmm. have dementia. Mm -hmm. So if you're caring for someone who has dementia early onset, say 55, yes. early, and yes. you're a caregiver, you could qualify for some of our services even though your recipient isn't 60. Okay. So there are a lot of little nuances, but yes. it, when it comes down to it, if you're interested in services for right. you know aging, call our 210-477-3275 number and someone can walk you through those Excellent. services. Well, this is a good opportunity for me to uh, put in that. I'm going to have all this information on my website Great. for people to access because this is a lot of information. Yes. And so also what I'll want to include is website information, all the phone numbers, all the places where you can, you know, contact and, and get uh, get information and find out about all these fantastic services because this is amazing. And I'm so, so honored and happy to have you guys on. And I'm hoping we get to do this periodically because we really need to get the word out, not just to San Antonio, but, but everywhere. So my website is drpbetterlife.com. And you can go in and not only find this is on YouTube, this is on podcasted on iTunes and Google Play, Amazon Audibles and all this. I'm on you know, radio on Sunday uh, afternoons. But you will be able to find all platforms where you can go and listen to this again if you need to. If you didn't catch something, come back and listen to it again. Again, drpbetterlife.com is where I'll have all this. I do need to take just a second. I've got a wonderful uh, sponsor who has been assisting me. So give me just a second. I'm going to definitely send props over to uh, Pinnacle Clinical Research and Dr. Harris who has uh, run this beautiful program and what uh, what the situation is with Pinnacle Clinical Research we are looking into fatty liver that is a little, a little detour here but for fatty liver one in three Americans have fatty liver and don't know it and it can be a very devastating disease it takes a long time to, to become sick it can be a very devastating disease so I want to thank Pinnacle for helping me uh, get the word out with my show and all these different topics we have I'll give a couple numbers real quick and uh, you can call 210 Five two nine seven nine seven eight. One of these days, I'll memorize that, <laughs> and you can give uh, give them a call and get a free fibro scan. It's free, no insurance needed. Free, just check and see if this is something that you have. So we are going to take a short break, flip over to the other side, talk a little bit more about ACOG, and uh, be right back. Fatty liver is linked to two different situations: alcohol and diabetes, or obesity. In both cases, patients can have no symptoms. In the United States, and in particular, Texas. The most common cause of liver disease in general is non-alcoholic fatty liver, again, associated with overweight, obesity, and or diabetes. Additional risk factors include high cholesterol, high blood pressure, Hispanic ethnicity, and postmenopausal status. At Pinnacle Clinical Research, we offer a quick, non-invasive, ultrasound-based screening assessment called FibroScan. This test is done at no cost to you and we do not take insurance. The test will measure the fat and stiffness in your liver and state your risk and development of fatty liver disease. You will meet with a provider immediately following your scan to go over your results. If you're interested in getting more information on your liver health, please call 210-982-0320 and schedule your FibroScan today. We are conveniently located in the Medical Center at 5109 Medical Drive. Hello there, I am Dr. Marianne Pinkston and I am with ACOG today and Joanne, Tobias Molina. We are talking about aging and the difficulties of aging and caregiving for somebody aging and all these wonderful programs that are out there that I think many people don't know about, which you highlighted in the first portion. So if you guys don't realize, you actually can go back and, and listen to all this again, again, if you want to at drpbetterlife.com. I have a YouTube and podcast and so you can go back and catch all this. And I'm going to have all this information that you have put presented today on the website so that you can go back and find how to get in touch with these wonderful people and what they do. So when we left off at the end, I was talking about fatty liver mm -hmm. and, and pinnacle clinical research, and that brought up a great uh, thought as to what services you provide in the wellness department. It did because it triggered the uh, my brain to say, well, you didn't talk about all of our health and wellness programs, and I said, you there's know, more. There's more. There, yes, there's more. And yeah. like those old commercials back in the day. Right. Uh, so one of the things that we all recognize, and I think we recognize it intellectually, and we want to make it work 
is that we have to have an active and fit lifestyle yeah. to be aging well right. and talk about the quality of our aging and the quality of our lifestyle. And so one of the things that our programs recognize is that we want healthy, active Texans, and not just Texans, but that's what our focus is here. Right. And so we have a number of different programs that we partner with in the community to offer. One of the real fun ones is called uh, Texercise and it's bingo size and it's a bingo and also light exercises and stretching so they kind of combined two things you know uh, yeah to try to get people motivated and to come to the bingo class sure. and so you, then you win prizes we have other healthy uh, we have healthy eating classes we have how to manage your diabetes how to ha manage some of your other chronic illnesses wow. so we partner with some of our community agencies out there to deliver the classes we deliver some of them but one of the things that I think is uh, people don't realize is that we have to have a plan in place mm -hmm. for ourselves yes. to age well yes. and to age in place and to age with dignity and with security and so healthy healthy aging sorry yes. I'll get that out <laughs> healthy aging is very important and when you talked about the fatty liver disease it triggered because it's yeah. one of those things that is silent and so many times there's other illnesses yes. like our high blood pressure yes. maybe even the undiagnosed diabetes other yes. things that people may not realize yeah. uh, they're going through and not only for themselves, but maybe their older parent or their older sibling or loved one that they're trying to take care of, and think about well, let's do a whole, you know, a holistic approach to aging, sure. and not only um, thinking about programs that can help you in the pro in the home or to get you to have a healthy meal, but what about your healthy aging, and not just uh, physical health, but also mental health. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think we've Especially. all discovered during this pandemic is the the importance of not allowing yourself to be so isolated yes. and as we know that sometimes when your physical illness has gotten to the point where you're not able to physically leave the home then you start social isolating because yes. you cannot perhaps you're not able to drive any longer or perhaps you don't have someone who can drive you to a location well mm -hmm. there are transportation resources we have transportation resources through our agency but there's other resources in San Antonio as well and one of the challenges of course during the pandemic is that sometimes there's not a place to go because mm -hmm. the center there's is closed yeah and yeah. Uh, you know or you can't go here or there where you would normally want to yes. so one of the programs that we started last year on a trial basis was one about social reassurance where we would do some phone calls back to our clients to find out how are you doing today how are things going is there anything you need and because we know that even just that one phone call exactly. makes might a huge difference. make a huge difference yes. absolutely in yes. the life of that person because they will feel that they're not alone someone's wor worried about me right. if there is something I need I can reach out to this person and so no matter if you go through one of our agency programs or you're in touch with a community group or your church or another or synagogue other organization social isolation is a huge issue for our population yes. or for our older adults yes, it is. who may not yes. may be impaired and cannot leave the uh, their home and then they start feeling more depressed and then more anxiety mm -hmm. and then we know that that just leads to an impairment in their physical health yes. and so we want to try to get people involved in these programs uh, not only the programs where they can receive services but I also have another way that if they are interested, we have a number of programs where we're looking for volunteers. Okay. Volunteers who are actually seniors, and then we have a program for volunteers who can be anyone age 18 and above. So we have volunteer programs where we can match you to work with a senior or an older adult, sorry, kind of old school, still use senior, but we're trying to use older adult. <laughs> but we have a program where we can match you with another older adult, and it's one older adult helping another older sure. adult. And then they go out to, they may go to eat, and go to transportation, or just play cards in the home. Exactly. Or just talk. And so, and then we have another program where maybe you're a university student and you mm -hmm. want to try to contribute and volunteer. And well, we have a program where you could sign up and be matched with a family or individual person to help provide them the little things that you and I may not think about right. are important, but right. it's critical. For example, if you live by yourself, and say you need cataract surgery mm -hmm. okay you need to have someone drive you there and you cannot leave until you have someone to take you home exactly. and not just 
take you home and drop you off because a taxi won't do that. Right. I mean, that's not going to be enough. Someone right. has to walk you in, make sure you're okay, stay with you. And so sometimes people don't have anybody. Thanks. Absolutely. And we have a group of volunteers that we're starting out a program where if you're interested in doing that kind of work, you could volunteer with our program and we'll match you up. Of course, we go through all of the background check and the vetting. Mm -hmm. That's that's implied, Safety. but I just want to yep. make sure. Yep. Of course. Uh, and then we have someone then who can help you because we have heard stories, and I'm sure you have, oh, heard I have. Yes. Of where people have put off medical procedures because right. they just don't have someone to take care of them. Absolutely. The screening, the colonoscopies, um, the cataracts, yeah. other things like that where you know it would be beneficial for you and your health, but you don't have anyone to help you. So true. So, so true. if you're interested, in being a volunteer and want that type of service or if you need someone that for a volunteer and you're thinking well maybe I'll qualify call us at 210-477-3275 and let's talk to one of our call agents to see Perfect. if you would qualify for that volunteer Perfect. program. Perfect and that would be excellent and again all these numbers will be on my website so drpbetterlife.com you can go and find that and I, I'm thinking of you know older high school 18 and up you know if they're mm -hmm. 18 and up or you know college age who are looking for community service hours and ways to give back exactly. and, and this is this is all uh, fantastic so you know I told you that this time was going to <laughs> fly by and it did it always does and I always it always does because I always enjoy everybody that I'm with and I appreciate you guys so much this has been wonderful so we will hopefully we will all do this again and, and uh, bring in some more information but uh, to wrap things up I'll just let you guys know please with the ACOG here in the San Antonio South Texas area all this information will be on drpbetterlife.com again I absolutely appreciate you coming on thank you so much right. for having me I absolutely. really enjoyed it we will do it again I hope absolutely <laughs> thank you very much thanks everybody